Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Insulate Britain, the pubic hair and everyone's soup over the last couple of weeks. Let's talk about them. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Lord Callum. For the last few weeks, we've seen Insulate Britain cause absolute carnage up and down the country. Now, initially, I didn't see any need to make a video about them because what's interesting about a group of people blocking off a road and causing traffic jams. Not much, really. People were obviously pointing out the potential dangers of what they were doing. But me, being the dumbass I can be sometimes, thought to myself, I mean, it's true, but if there was a legit emergency, like, I don't know, rush into the hospital, they would move. No doubt in my mind. These people are meant to be the good people. They're going about it in the most irritating and bizarre way possible, but when it comes down to it, they would do the right thing, wouldn't they? Right? Well, that's the last time I give people the benefit of the doubt. Holy shit. Please. This is an unkind response. Please. 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 See, this is a confusing one to watch because usually when there's a middle-aged white woman screaming in the streets, there's a video attached to it. Like, oh, look at me. I'm the creaky blinder. Karen's just so stupid. Just... What are you doing? <laughs> But it's completely different with this situation because she is genuinely distressed because these activists who claim they are doing this to save people's lives will not let her through to see her mother who is currently being rushed to hospital in an ambulance. You're supposed to be the good guys. What the fuck are you doing? It's not even the only thing they've done that's put people's lives at risk as well. One person claims he was stuck in traffic for six hours while trying to rush his mother to the hospital after having a stroke. And according to him, she's now left paralyzed after that stroke because they could not get to the hospital quick enough. Now I don't know how bang on factually accurate that story is. I don't know if waiting that long is genuinely what caused her to be paralyzed. I'm not a doctor, believe it or not. I know. I know, it's a shock. I'm not though. So my opinion is irrelevant, really. But if there's even the slightest chance that these protesters could have made this woman's situation worse, they, they should all be ashamed of themselves. That... Mm. <laughs> Call me Peter Griffin because that grinds my gears. You know what really grinds my gears? I was genuinely curious about the backlash of these insulated Breton people, and it was fairly easy to just endlessly scroll and watch hundreds of people calling them out, condemning them, and just being all around angry about the situation. But that's way too easy. I wanted to find a post of someone defending them, and to be honest, there's not that many. Which is a bit awkward, really, isn't it? I did find this, though. Literally shaking at the lack of reporting of this man in a grey Volkswagen van. Attempting to kill a peaceful, insolent Britain protester earlier today. What? A man tried to kill the protesters? That's terrible. Holy shit. I must see this attempted murder with my own two eyes. You see, this is the problem with Twitter. If I had read that tweet with no video attached to it, I would have just assumed that there was an absolute maniac driving through the streets, no attempt to slow down and just barging through the people. When in reality, the light turned green and he went, ah, fuck it, let's see if I can get around them. And then when he couldn't, he just reversed back, sat in the traffic again, attempting to kill them. That's, that, that is shocking. That is absolutely shocking. Look, I believe these people are fighting for a great cause. I'm not gonna sit here and list off the reasons why climate change is shafting us all because no one wants to hear that. Because that's not fun for anyone. Plus, most of you have a brain and you already know that. 
I also believe you should fight for your passion. If you feel that strongly about something, go out and do something about it. Get out there and make a difference. Just please don't be this blind. When, when the public reaction is like 90% against you, maybe you're going about it in the wrong way. When the news stories aren't actually talking about the issue at hand and they're just focusing on how much you're pissing everyone off, maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe it's time to retreat, regroup, and think of a new plan of attack. I don't know, here's a few ideas. Uh, cause a bit of a scene outside Parliament. Uh, do it near Downing Street. Do it by Downing Street. I don't know. I'm just some guy on the internet. You're not gonna listen to me anyway. But please, do not block me in traffic, because I will be forced to do the most British thing ever. And say absolutely nothing, and sit there politely waiting for you to move. <laughs> but I'll be very angry about it. Oh, I will. I will be fuming. So just know that. I'm not waiting until she's 18, I'll go now. Now, I came quite close to doing a full part two on the whole Machine Gun Kelly saga, because judging by the views off the last video and the jumping subscribers, you seem to like it. Thank you for that, by the way. There, there is no better feeling than a YouTube video doing well. But it seems I may have upset some people. And honestly, that is not my intention with any of these videos, so I would like to issue a formal apology to the residents of Ohio for saying that it is only known for white trash junkies and Dave Chappelle. It's not true, and shame on me for spreading misinformation like that. I always forget LeBron James is also from Ohio, so we'll just add him to the list. <clears throat> I hope you accept this sincere apology, the people of Ohio. Other than that, I stand by everything else I said in that video. Fuck Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> My favourite comment off the last video is from a lovely disgruntled Machine Gun Kelly fan and it simply says You look like a bootleg Post Malone You may have seen that comment because I decided to pin it to the top because it might actually be my favourite hate comment that I've ever received I know you said it to hurt my feelings but it actually made me laugh pretty hard and I showed it to everyone I know <laughs> So thank you you were the talking part of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've been Lord Callum, and have a good day. Peace.